pulling that ass back like a boom 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 boom. What is up, everybody? It's your boy, the Scarlet Cosplayer here, bringing you yet another cosplay unboxing. And as always, if you like what you see here, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, hit that little bell to be notified, because that's what YouTube says you gotta do. So, it's been a minute. I thought I was going to have a different video to post here. But uh, I got this one instead, and I'm really happy I got this one. I got a new cosplay piece slash display piece that I'm really excited about. And this is my first time actually ordering directly from this company. I've seen their work on Instagram and Facebook and YouTube. I have friends with their stuff. I technically have one of their products. It's gorgeous. It's, oh my God, it's so beautiful. Um, but let's give a little bit of a history behind this because I'm pretty sure I'll put the name of it in the uh, title or title, depending on where you're how you're watching. Um, so, as you guys know, I kind of got my status and my rise to fame with my Flash cosplays. More specifically, my Kid Flash cosplay from season three of the show The Flash. And with The Flash currently on its final season, and this is being filmed the day after episode 7 just aired. Yeah, 7. With Nia Nell Dreamer making the cameo spot. Which also, not a bad episode. Um, if you guys want to see a review on episodes, let me know in the comments below. I would love to get your feedback. One of the things that I've thought about doing on this channel is going back and re-watching all the episodes with a couple of buddies of mine and just recording us having a discussion about each episode kind of like how microwave society watches their movies and veggie tales and stuff i thought maybe we could do that um but anyways back to the topic at hand so i'm a big 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 flash guy right you, you, you guys know, almost every one of my videos on here has to do with something Flash related. Whether it's the Flash movies, or the Flash... I think I might have reviewed one episode on one time on here. Um, or the, the TV show costumes. You know, I, I'm a big Flash guy. Everything, everything Flash all the time. Well, this new cosplay product is another piece from the Flash show, and it helps to finally put some progress on an old suit that I haven't touched in a while. Um, so our package that we've got today, this fairly decent sized boy with a, you know, it, I can tell by how it sounds, which is gonna sound so autistic, but there's definitely like a lot of packaging and care put into this to preserve it. So I'm gonna have to open it very carefully. But this comes from Reeves Effects. Now, 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 before you guys start mashing your buttons, I love the Reeves Effect cowls. I love his work on the Batman 89 suit that he's been doing on Facebook. I have always loved his Flash cowls, whether it was the season one through three, like I currently own, or it's the season four that I eventually hope to get. And this one, which I just now picked up, which I actually ordered like at the beginning of February, and the guy t told me it'd take like six weeks to turn around on, and it it, it was just that, like. Reeves, like Sean Reeves with Reeves Effects, the dude is super chill, like super friendly, super polite, honestly reasonably priced for the quality of work that he's putting into this, and really punctual, you know, you ask him for progress pics, he'll send you a pic, um, you ask him 
like how's it going and he'll have a conversation with you like the dude knows customer service and how to engage with people and i love that i personally like i have straight up stopped going with companies in terms of like costumes and cosplays and stuff solely based on their customer interactions but i can thoroughly say Sean Reeves with Reeves Effects gets my stamp of approval. Well, let's get this bad boy open. Um, so yeah, I'll go ahead and do that like a quick little bit. So when I was alluding to a while is maybe trying to finish doing that reverse flash cosplay from the you know early seasons before season eight and they changed it to the jumpsuit. And then that really, really bad Power Rangers looking one. Um, but I've been wanting to get into like a more villainous character, more anti-hero for a little bit. Because I feel like that might be fun to do at like a con or something. Um, and I already have the Reverse Flash jacket. That video is... On the channel if i can figure out how to do the little cards i'll put one up there somewhere and then you can watch that review of the ud replicas jacket but i figured even if i never get around to cosplaying again or if i never get around to you know finishing that suit i might as well pick up the cowl as the last piece or as like another piece of the Flash puzzle for my displays. Because you know I've got like the Kid Flash Wally West. Um, I've got the Justice League movie. I've got the Rebirth Wally. I have the Blue Suit Wally. I have the Season 5 cowl. I have the Season 6 through 9 cowl. You know I have a majority of the cowls and replicas that they've done on this show. And I figured I needed a Reverse Flash one. So, let's get this bad boy open, and I'll stop wasting y'all's time, because it's already been 10 minutes. And with that, I can finally um, announce that we can say cursing on the channel, because uh, YouTube sent me a thing, and they're like, hey, as long as it's after this timestamp, you can do whatever. So, hell yeah. Kite man, hell yeah. And oh my god. God, it looks pretty. Like, you guys can't see it right now, but in this box, it's... Oh, my God. Okay, I gotta get this out. Oh, oh wow. He packaged this like crazy. It's so detailed. And, like, the bag that it's in is acting like a form of, like, mannequin. Because it's, like, stuffed inside it and keeping it shaped. Let's go ahead and get it out of the bag. He did put the Velcro in, yes! Okay. It does have a little bit of a paint smell, which I'm not really worried about. That'll air out. You know what, for the time being, I'm gonna leave that back in there. But look at this! This is immaculate. Oh my gosh. It's so pretty with all the little details and the weathering. Here, let me let me get this up a little bit closer. That way you guys can see. You guys, wow. It is beautiful. This amazing yellow that they've got, all the airbrush weathering. And the lightning bolts and the neck area and the the pieces oh my gosh it's this is beautiful this is wonderful and then here you can almost not even you can barely even see it but it's got velcro it was installed with velcro so you can put it on easier you know how awesome that is 
you know how freaking awesome that is? That it automatically has Velcro installed and I don't have to try to cut it up and then glue Velcro on? That's wonderful. Oh, gosh, guys. I'm so happy about this. So many of you guys comment in these videos and they're like, oh my gosh, you look more like Reverse Flash. You look more like Eddie Thun. Well, who's the villain now, Flash? Who's the villain now? Hello, Barry. Oh, it fits. I'm so excited. It fits perfect. Wow, I really do look like Eddie Thun and Tommy <laughs> Wow, I do! I see what you guys are saying! <laughs> Woo! Okay. Um, so, this fits perfectly to my head. Almost as if it was fitted perfectly for me. It's not. But that's what it feels. So that's awesome. I didn't even have to use this to, you know, keep my head in. But like, oh my gosh! Ah! <laughs> I am Reverse Flash. <laughs> I'm sorry. I sound stupid. I'm really emotional right now. One of my guinea pigs passed away yesterday. But this... This helps. I'm not saying that you can replace lost family members with material objects. But I'm saying trying to get back to normal. This helps. Because this is beautiful. Oh my gosh. And it fits so perfect. Like it does have that slight issue where because it is cast into urethane, you know, it's real thick and you can't really hear unless you do that. Um, and me being partially deaf already, I can't really hear all that well to begin with. But like, it's not that bad. And I love this. I love this cowl. It looks gorgeous. Thank you again, Reeves Effects, for this cowl. I'm so blessed to finally have it on my collection. And I think I'm going to find a place over here. That way it's season one through three cowl berry. And then this cowl reverse flash. That way they can look like they're going at each other. And that's going to be awesome. Uh, it just, it's got me so excited. So happy. Like, I, I feel like a little kid right now. This feels... I haven't felt like this with a cosplay item in a while, and I'm so, I'm so happy. <laughs> but I hope you guys enjoyed getting to see this. The Velcro does attach in the back here. You know, you just open up, put your head in, and close it back with the Velcro. Um, so, yeah. I hope you guys enjoyed if you guys want to see the reviews on the episodes with me and my friends, let me know. If you want it with just me, also let me know. Um, just let me know what you guys want to see. I want to make more content for you guys on the channel so maybe we can grow and YouTube can stop shadow banning me. But I really need your input. So please just let me know what you guys think and I'll be sure to try to do that in my next review. I love you guys so much. This cowl wouldn't be possible without you wonderful people. And I'm so thankful and grateful for all of you. But as always, I love you all. You are worth it. You are wonderful people. Go drink your water. And got a reverse flash. You know what you have to do. You have to take me back to that night and let me finish what I started. You go to hell! You're taking both of us there!